Hello. <laughs> yes. We are live now. Hello, Libra. Welcome uh, to your clairvoyant alchemy reading for November 2017. I'm excited because <laughs> Libra's in my chart, so there's a rising ascended sign. So, you know, I get a little pumped up for those personal readings and you know you're about to balance the scales of justice and i believe in that harmony i believe in that grace that love peace you know being fair and equals and love everyone <laughs> even though this plan is a little loco right now but it has always been so, but truly I believe in the peace and harmony. I believe in that. I believe that we can move forward and um, Libra, we're the um, air sign, okay? And that's how we think, our clear consciousness, okay? How, how are we thinking nowadays? Let's consider that, okay? You know. Do we have thoughts that communicate truths? All right. Are we active in making um, problems turn into positive solutions? Okay, let's, let's just have a little thought about that, okay? And communication is key. It truly is. Um, you know, when you become more spiritual, you truly are... Um, talking to the ones that are invisible the invisible intelligence okay and so you really have to reflect on that um you know i talk about the paranormal a lot on my channel because i <laughs> everywhere i go it affects me every house i've lived in since a little baby girl you know but now I do tap traditions like the Santeria Orishas that we tap higher dimensions. And when you start doing that, no doubt about it, the good, the bad, and the ugly come through. But I'm all right with the good, bad, and ugly as long as they know that <laughs> I defend them. And I have Father God. I have the Lord Jesus, Mother Mary, and Mary Magdalene, white light, white light. I speak that very much, okay? Because I couldn't do what I'm doing on YouTube if I didn't. I'll tell you that. Okay, look at this card right there. Wants to come through. All right, so let's take a moment here and take an exhale out. And with that exhale, I bring my belly in tight. My abdomen. I'm going to take another deep breath in here. Boot the belly out. And exhale with love. Okay? Wow. These cards are just coming through today for you, Libra. Okay. Now. You know, I'm provocative because, you know, I believe in what I do very, very much. Um, let's talk about that further down. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay. But I, I, I believe in, you know, becoming, how we say, We become our true selves. You know, we speak our truths. We focus on our outcomes. It's what you do today is going to deliver tomorrow. Okay. So ask for guidance and know you're never alone. Okay. Even for those of you, like I've chosen to be staying away from people, I know that they guide me all the time. I mean daily, and I'm not. I'm not saying daily. I'm saying hourly, <laughs> hourly. 
they speak to me. One day I have to talk about it, but you know, something should be kept secretive. I believe in that, like the Egyptians. If it wasn't for those treasure seekers, so much of their wisdom would have been kept secret. And, you know, here comes people just trying to unlock secrets. But they were not good people, okay? You know, like when they found King Tutankhamun's um, burial place, that man died. It took him three years to find it. And he died within, what, months? You know, some secrets need to be unsolved, especially from the original ones. That's a deeper conversation we'll have one day. You know, I'm talking to my Libra balance air sign. And I brought up my old school, the Rider Tarot deck, which is what, 120 years old? Yes, for my air signs. For my Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini friends. Um... We really want you to contemplate, you know, and, and literally, Libra, you know, your card is about the justice, Aquarius, you are the star card, glorious card, I love the star card, and Gemini, you're the lovers, and we've had some love out here for November with the True Love Tarot deck, and, and other cards have come through as well, so let's see what happens, okay? But we need to now kind of trust, trust your truths, okay? Trust your truths, all right? That's kind of like what we're going to, um, kind of like the theme for this reading. Trust your truths mentally, physically, psychically, spiritually, emotionally. You know, trust your truths, okay? Speak with that wisdom. Feel your passion and feel that goddess. The goddess energy is coming through so much. Sometimes I keep it low down, but, um, you know, the more, the more I've gone within for these few years, the more they speak to me. I mean, like, I wake up <laughs> with already intentions of beauty, how they speak to me. It's fabulous. Um, I know I'm blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. And some of you will get that down the road. And some will never get it. Okay, some will never get it. Okay, you know what? I've been opening up with this for many, many signs, but I have not done it for every sign. But I'm going to do it for you, Libra, okay? To balance you. To balance us, because Libra is my rising sign. Great Spirit, Mother Creator, bless the earth through my life. Source of all nourishment, we seek to replenish your sacred world. Guide us now through these images, words, and feelings within. As we reach into the wholeness, let all that is needed be known. Okay, that's key for us, Libra. Welcome, energies of earth, air, fire, and water. Let us create a life of beauty, reverence, and wonder with each season. Let us rejoice through every phase of sun and moon. Let us be in harmony in every direction. Shall we offer our love? And let the reading begin. Yes. Okay. And faith. Okay. It's all about having faith. Okay. Patience. Hope. Hope. Faith. Patience. Faith is an energy of your heart. Make room for it. And the alignment card is, I align now with the vaster presence, which is my true self, my true capital S self. That's the spiritual self, the soul self. I acknowledge I am more than I have seen myself to be. I now seek to become more. Okay. And, you know, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Okay. Oh, my Lord. The Hierophant has come through again. Hold on a moment here. Oh, my goodness. Honestly. 
they call it the high priest in this uh, witch's tarot deck. This high, this same, this same image has come through. I think this is the third time for November, but the hierophant has come through in other cards as well, other, other decks. That's why I like to use other decks. So when they double whammy us, I don't think I've ever had a triple whammy, but wow. See the sun and the stars right there? See the medicine? The sun and the stars? Believe in that, my darlings. Now, you know, the Hierophant is not my most favorite card. I'll be very candid, okay? Because I speak of this. Because this usually resembles a Pope. And I speak of this a lot because... You know, I was raised Catholic all the way. Santa Rio, Cosmo, New York City. But the point is, is that, you know, how the Romans crucified our Jesus. And the Vatican is in Rome. And they have so much wisdom. That's why I I've talked about it already for November. Like, this is the fourth time now. Well, I've talked about it a lot during my years on the YouTube. I want everybody to understand, do not trust the Vatican. They're just like that royal family in England, full of crap. They have so much wisdom and so much money, and they do not share it, and they do not, they just rather keep it underground. But I'll give one thing to Queen Elizabeth. As a little girl, she was made to speak at 14 years of age to her people. Okay, when Hitler was bombing London, I give her a lot of respect for that. Okay, a lot, a lot. Seven of Wands. Okay, stand your ground. Here we go. Seven spiritual victory or spiritual, you know, challenges. Pick your poison, people. But this is about spirit coming through. Imagine. That you are one who is in charge of your domain, your life, and your victories. Okay. Seven is a beautiful number. Seven speaks of that philosophy of spirit source force. You know, call it what you want. God, Jesus, you know, Buddha. The beautiful ones. I call them the beautiful ones. Because that's what they are to me. I have learned so much from Lady Isis. I dedicate... I have a series dedicated just to Lady Isis. And yes, I totally believe they came from the ETs. No doubt about it. Their technology was nobody, not even today can they fathom. The scientists cannot fathom, the, you know, how they did what they did. But we're talking about supernatural now, paranormal. Okay. And that's God and Jesus. Seven of Wands. How beautiful. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in the spiritual knowledge now. Okay. We cannot stay in a place where, you know, we don't know what's going on. We got to know what's going on. And you go within. And that's why every day we take an hour off technology Turn the radio off, turn everything, everything. And you go within, you have paper in hand and pen, and you write what you hear, what you see with your eye, you know, in your vision, fourth source, your third eye. You just jot it down and date it. Always date it, okay? How many times things would be said to me and I didn't date it now, I still don't even know what was going on. I mean, I knew what was going on, but now I date everything. Okay, I want to know when I wrote it. Five of Cups. Okay, this same card has come through again. Okay, there's a message here now, Libra. Okay, and fives are about those changes. And the fives have come through hard, strong for November. Change. Okay, move on. And you know, it's like, 
I don't want to say it out loud, but I have to. It's like the Five of Cups is usually a divorce card or, you know, get away from a situation, relationship, because the hearts is about, you know, how we feel, our emotions, our relationships, our, you know, how we create our future, you know, it's about family and friends. But I always, what's kind of cool about or, you know, positive is that here's the two of cups still standing you see and literally the two of cups i repeated it probably a thousand times in all the years i've been on youtube is my favorite card of the tarot because it's about a pair of people that strongly believe in each other and you know it's like they have a love towards each other and i'm not i'm not saying it has to be sexual love but it could be like total respect like uh, you know, soul to soul. Actually, I brought out the soul's journey lesson cards for Libra and, and the air sign. Okay. It, it could be this kind of relationship that is truly soul to soul. doesn't even have to be about sexual, sensual. It could be just total respect that your soul aligns with this person and you attach because you get it. All right. And that's why the change is here. And so if you are in a, rela um, a relationship or with relatives, I was going to say relatives, because sometimes the family, just get rid of them. You know what I mean? Just get, just go away. Go underground. Do what you got to do. Just believe. Okay? Believe that, you know, just get away from this. Get away. Okay, go within, and Libra, you know how to do that, because you're the balance, okay, you're about the balance, and you're about justice, okay, and also, Libra, you know, we love you, because you're ruled by planet Venus, the goddess, all right, who speaks of beauty, and the, uh, you know, that spiritual treasure love, okay, you pray to planet Venus, okay, Libra, Look at this. <laughs> oh, God, I'm snorting. The king of gems is here. The realist. The king of coins. The king of pentacles. How fabulous. Well, he hasn't come through from this deck in a long time. How fabulous. That's nice. This is wonderful. You know, and the kings are all about, you know, they, the kings and the queens, they have mastered themselves and they and they have to build themselves up because they, you know, want their bounty for their people. Okay. So believe in that. All right. Look at that. Hold on. I didn't even see that. Okay. See this? We're going to put this down here. So whatever no longer serves is outgrown. You let that go, okay? You give it away with beauty, okay? I like my flowers to be alive. <laughs> but look how beautiful that he came with his expertise. And this is a stable king. You know, he's the king of earth. The king of gems in this deck, but the king of earth, okay? And this is why I love him as well. You know, he balances, he's like, you know, Mother Earth is feminine receptive. He is also, even though it's a male factor here, but he's about that fertility and growth. He's all about feminine receptive, the resources, the coins, the money, the beauty, the bounty that Mother Earth delivers. Wow, beautiful. Standing strong right here. Standing strong. Love that he came through. This card... I mean, I have lots of kings, but when I use this deck, and I've used this deck for many, many, many years, he hardly comes through. And that's beautiful that he came through for you. Okay, look at this. We just received this card. I'm telling you, there's cards that keep repeating themselves. Here's this. This this same high priest has come through already. You know, in a way, um, like I said, I, I don't really love that card too much. Seven of wings. Okay. Here we go. Another seven comes through. It is about, you know, it's 
spiritual victory or spiritual challenge. You pick it, okay? This is about how you are truly using your spirit, force, source, imagination, how you believe in life, philosophy, you know, psychology, whatever it is. It's how you're observing things, okay? With the seven of wings, because this is the air element and Libra, we're air element, no doubt. So truly, you have to move within you, okay? And like move faster. Like they're telling me move faster. So make movement. Make you know, We already have this, you know, cup card. Movement changes. Move faster. Okay. Because we, we, we know how to think it out. No doubt about it. And sometimes, you know, we can say, no, I, I can't do that. <laughs> don't Don't think like that, okay? You say, I, I am. I'm going to be profound in what I do. Profound. Okay, two sevens. Two sevens. <gasps> Look how beautiful. Major Arcana. Okay. I love this card. The chariot. Determination. You see? Stay in victory. Think victoriously already. And challenge on. Stand up. This is the wands, the fire, the passion. Stand up for yourself. You know? You're you're with spirit. You're never alone. You remember that. We are never alone. Even though if we're alone in the respect, um, you know, without a partner or whatever it is, we are never alone. Spirit force source is with us, our angels, our guides. Our ancestors always with us. They watch over us. And when we exit from this planet, we get to meet and greet with them again. Okay. But I love the chariot card. You know, this is cancer ruled by moon. See how looking up. Please continue to look up. This is a very protective card, you know, and this is a very psychic card because. The water signs are the most psychic of the zodiacs. This is definitely beautiful. And this is about having a balance with, you know, because the charioteer, you know, in the respect, they they have to balance, you know, that animal that's driving that chariot. It's all about that balance, you know, and, and having that kind of like, you know, even in the Egyptian times, they had their chariots back then. And, you know, it was like they loved them. You know, even in King Tut's tomb, they found all these chariots and, you know, the wheel, all gold. It was like crazy good. They romanced their animals. They really did. They even mummified them. Look at that. Standing everything strong so far. I like it. I like it. So let's see what the... Rider Tarot deck has to do this. This deck is over 200 or 150 years old or something like that. Look at that. Two of swords, two of air. Okay. So totally, there's a pairing. When we see the twos, it's, it's a pairing of two people doing things together. Or, or you know, sometimes because it's the two of swords, we can say, you know, you're going to, work together even though this doesn't look like it but you see she, this person this female is blindfolded so she's going to trust see and luna's in the image right here we we're just talking about how the chariot card is ruled by the moon cancer cancer's trump card or tarot card okay but you see she believes okay she believes but just know there's can be a spiritual challenge or a victory so Put it up there. Put it up there, spiritual. You know, experience something spiritual for yourselves, all right? We're never alone, okay? But see, she trusts. And get by a you know, body of water if you can. Uh, once it gets cooler, I'm, I try to go out to the beach, but it's still too hot and my camera shuts down. So... But uh, I'm looking forward to doing some videos out by the, by the Gulf of Mexico. 
some of my favorite ones that I did when I lived in the condo were right out there. So, okay, look at that, standing strong. So, you know, and, and I talk about this. Walk around your house with your eyes closed. Truly, do it. Do it. Practice it. I do it all the time. I've been doing it for years. I close my eyes and I walk around my home because, you know, you, you, you understand where you, your room is and, and count the steps if you need to. But close your eyes and look, look, look at all these beautiful blind people. Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles, uh, the opera singer uh, from Italy. You understand? The, they have no sight, but they have willpower. And that's what this is all about right there. Willpower. Willpower. Okay. But there's a pairing here. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see what else comes through. Another two of wands. Here we go. Okay. So look. Two sevens and two twos. So we have the two of swords, the two of air element. Okay. And twos are about that pairing. Okay. And so now we have a pairing of, you know, working yourself. And then this could be working with spirit. You know what I mean? Like you're, I, I attempt to walk around your house with your eyes closed. Okay. Just try it. Do that, that kind of exercise and, and see what, and, and when your eyes are closed, what, what do you see? Okay. What do you see? And the two of fire is here with that passion and energy. So we have to believe that, you know, there's a pairing of ideas here. Let's call it like that. A pairing of ideas. And you see, this is usually, now this is an old school tarot deck. Okay. But this is the earth. This, you know, this image holds the earth. So looking forward to what the earth can deliver. Okay. So believe in that. Again, by a body of water. If you can get by a body of water, a lake, a river, or if not, a sea salt bath, believe in that. Okay. Believe in that. Definitely. Okay. Two twos and two sevens. And then we have the chariot card. So we really have three sevens here. And Luna's in the mix. Because this is Cancer's tarot card. Ruled by the moon. Beautiful. Luna love. Three sevens. That's a good that's a good deal, right? When you see three sevens, right? Isn't that like <laughs> like right in Vegas? If you get three sevens, that's lucky good. <laughs> Look at this. Triumph and victory. How beautiful. And the king of coins is here. Oh yes. How beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. And this chariot horse is here. This Pegasus. And then this card comes through with the white horse as well. That's synchronicity, my friends. Triumph and victory. How gorgeous. And the six we speak on my channel is, you know, having that karma and that peace. Okay. And this is the wands as well. And we were saying, stand strong, stand strong with the wands. So we have three wands here. We got the king coin right in the corner here. Let's stand him strong. Yes. Okay. And we got crow feathers here. My first crow feathers ever. The realist. The realist. See, even the king coins, he thinks. You know what? I might want to read him, actually, from the book. Because um, he obviously is here with a purpose and reason. So let's hold on. Let me see. I don't want to knock this all down. I'm trying to go slow motion here. Yes, I want to read him because this is important. You know, how we value. But look at that. And the sixes are about that, you know, harmony, that karma that family relationship, that you become victorious, okay? 
you really have that you know it's like you can see the people in the background they're you know embellishing him you know we got the wreath of peace right there and again two white horses that that doesn't happen very often okay and again this is all about psychic ability okay psychic ability so please try to do that in your homes you know i mean do it alone when you have alone time you don't want to do it when people are around you but close your eyes and walk around your house and see what happens okay that can open up your intuition as well look at that <laughs> open up to the queen of love right here the empath she is a classically trained empath and can shield herself from the negativity of others she cares deeply about all beings, but is fully aware they can each bear ultimate responsibility for what they do with their life, has given them. Okay, there you go. The Queen of Love herself. Hmm, page 111. Page 111. Okay, let's go to the King of Gems, and we'll read him. And then um, I'll pull a card from the Souls deck. And we'll take it from there. There he is, the King of Gems. Okay. Okay, the King of Gems. The King of Gems upright leans on his staff. Look at that. Staff. Okay, well, hold on a moment there, you see? Leans on his staff, and we've had three staff cards come through with victory. Stand your ground. A pairing of two people and stand on your ground. Okay, let me read it. The king of gems upright leans on his staff, symbolizing it has been a long, hard climb to achieve his wealth, success, and power. He realizes he didn't do it without help. Okay. He has a great respect and appreciation for those who work for him and prefers their company to that of the nobles crowding his court, making requests of him. He handles them and his many businesses well because he is mature and pragmatic. He is a realist with an earthly sense of humor and has experienced life from all sides. He loves his queen with all his heart and soul and puts their relationship first, ahead of everyone and everything, even his children. Whoa, wait a minute. Let's read that one again. He's a realist with an earthly sense of humor and has experienced life from all sides. He loves his queen with all his heart and soul and puts their relationship first, ahead of everyone and everything, even his children. You will soon meet or be required to display the qualities of a person like the king of gems, the king of earth. You will find a charismatic partner who loves you just as you are. You and or your partner will reach a position of power and or will be respected by those you respect. Accept meeting and lunch invitations and make dating, mating, and relating a priority. Interact with everyone, no matter what their status. Be yourself but put others at ease by respecting their origins. Get down to the basics in your relationship. Keep it simple. Massage each other. Seek outdoor activities and athletic types. Be natural, realistic, and committed. A sensible, pragmatic, serious-minded individual will appear in your life. A down-to-earth relationship will endure. Wow. Okay. So, again, to repeat the last paragraph, get down to basics in your relationship. Keep it simple. Massage each other, seek out to our activities and athletic types, be natural, realistic, and committed. A sensible, pragmatic, serious-minded individual will appear in your life. A down-to-earth relationship will endure. Okay, well, stand your ground. A pairing is coming. Okay, um, triumph with this pairing, and then it just revealed itself. The king of coins, the king of earth. So definitely get outside, my friend, and believe in you. Believe in you. Okay. 
And let's pick a soul card right here, The Souls of the Journey by James Ben Prague, and we'll close it down. Yes, this has been a good read for Libra. You know, and Libra is the air element. You, you know, get outside. And let this, you know, these two cards came through with the white horse. That's pretty wonderful. And a pairing is here. And I know I'm repeating myself as I usually do, but truly, walk around your home with your eyes closed and see what that does to you. It'll open up your psychic awareness, no doubt about it. Okay, so we received the card of grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty strong right there. Okay, grief. <gasps> and look what I opened up to grief. I just opened up to grief. I, I hardly use this deck. Look at that, grief. Okay, this there's a message for someone out there. Grief. Wow. I just opened it up. That doesn't happen very often. It does happen on my table, but not very often. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Nothing is gone forever. The belief that we have lost someone or something is merely an illusion to assist us in learning to appreciate or having had it in the first place. The emotion of grief and the sense of loss are absolutely real. But that is the point. The lesson of loss is not about the actual physical separation because the parting is temporary and illusionary. The point of the lesson is to acknowledge that the bonds of love never end and that we have not been abandoned. That we have not been abandoned. When you accept in your heart that you you will be reunited with everything you have ever loved. It will give you the ability to move beyond your grief and derive something beneficial from the experience. To wallow in grief is to pass up the opportunity that you and your soul family have devised and learn nothing from it. Instead, allow your grief to take you to a place of deeper understanding. Wow, that's pretty. I mean, that's pretty deep grief. I understand that losing something. I'm just going to read it one more time because it came out, you know, just like that. So there's a message here for some of you. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Nothing is gone forever. The belief that we have lost, and the lost is in quotes, lost. Someone or something is merely an illusion to assist us in learning to appreciate or having had it in the first place. The emotion of grief and the sense of loss are absolutely real, but that is the point. The lesson of loss is not about the actual physical separation because the parting is temporary and illusory. The point of the lesson is to acknowledge that the bonds of love never end and that we have not been abandoned. When you accept in your heart that you will be reunited with everything you have ever loved, it will give you the ability to move beyond your grief and derive something beneficial from the experience. To wallow in grief is to pass up the opportunity that you and your soul family have devised and learned nothing from it. Instead, allow your grief to take you to a place of deeper understanding. Okay, my darlings, there it is. Hmm. Okay, I have to add, this has been like a very, you know, how do you say? It's about going within, recognizing your soul and, you know, your family and, and keep it in the balance. Okay, Libra, that's, that's what we do. And we do, we're ruled by Venus. She's the Empress. We had the King of Coin just speak to us. Okay. So, believe in your kingdom. And be real about it. And yet, some, you know, you can't live forever. But your soul does. So, believe in that. And uh, feel, feel bright about it. 
and you know embrace that companionship if you have it already more power to you if you're seeking a romance believe that someone with integrity will come because you're now aligning your soul with the higher forces that be and we're never alone and they want to bring that magic to us that's what soulmates are about okay when the heavens bring forward a soulmate you know it's it comes like that it doesn't come from match.com i'll tell you that okay so believe in that but believe in venus empress the authority and power position she has it's a loving beautiful goddess and then believe that this king came through as well okay now look up luna loves the lover okay <laughs> luna loves the lovers and if you have to exit from something believe in that as well okay believe in that as well all right my darlings i'm wishing you all the best i always do you know it's like i i i feel all of you all the time no doubt about it love to all ciao